one of the commonest of the meadow butterflies, the, the meadow brown. Uh, the caterpillars feed on grasses and they absolutely love meadows like this. Uh, very abundant and they start flying in June and then they'll fly right through into August, sometimes into early September as well. Now if you look at the meadow brown butterfly it has a little black spot towards the tip of the wing and has a little white centre and it looks like an eye and the reason for this is that when a bird comes along and uh, tries to attack this butterfly it will go for the eyes so it will actually peck at the eye spot rather than the, the, the actual body of the butterfly and you often see them with peck marks on where the eye spots are and sometimes the eye spots have been pecked out but the butterfly is perfectly all right it can fly away its body has been protected by these protective eye spots which are in the furthest point away from the from the body on the wings. Another common butterfly you, you, we can see in the meadows at this time of year is the large skipper and again like the burnet moth having clubbed antennae tenai, so it looks a bit like a, a butterfly the skipper looks more like a moth it has a thick chunky body and it holds its wings at an angle so its fore wings and hind wings are at different angles uh, and it also has little clubbed antennae. It's definitely a butterfly, but it's uh, quite a dull coloured butterfly, quite small, orangey brown, and it whizzes around. I'm not sure why it's called a skipper, but it's uh, a lovely little butterfly. It whizzes about. The males will be whizzing around the flowers looking for females at this time of year. Now, this butterfly, as you can see, is flapping around all over the place. Now, butterflies just don't fly around just for the fun of it, they're always, up, they're always doing something. These butterflies only live for a couple of weeks. So in that time, they've got to find a mate. So what this, this male, I'm sure it is a male, marble white, is patrolling around. You can see he's not going to flowers. He's flying around and dropping down into the grass and flying up and dropping down into the grass. And he's hoping to find a freshly emerged female to mate with. And he's got to cover a lot of ground. So every now and again, he'll stop on some napweed to refuel, get his nectar supplies in, and then he'll carry on his search. And it'll be all day, as long as the sun shines, They'll be fluttering around looking for females. Coming back now, might do a little fly pass. There we go. That's quite a stunning thing. So if you have patches of knapweed in your meadow, really important for some butterflies, particularly things like marble whites. The caterpillars feed on grasses, particularly red fescue is one of their favourite grasses to feed on and you really don't see the caterpillars very much. They're hidden away down in the grass. I did find one yesterday when I was out on the moor, um, but they're pretty difficult things to see. But you certainly notice the butterflies when they hatch towards the end of June. And a nice thing to do is actually, if you go out in the evening, uh, we're in a good patch where you've got lots of butterflies. And if you look on umbellifer flowers and other white flowers, you'll find that they all roost on there for camouflage. You sometimes find gr groups of several marble whites roosting together. It's actually a beautiful sight. So if you come out on a nice sunny day like this in June, you can see several species of butterfly on the thistles. There's a, a large skipper just now, small tortoise shell, small pearl bordered fritillary still flying this time of year. And of course, meadow browns, which are common in all the meadows, you'll see those. And other butterflies too will come in and, and feed some of the whites. And there's a small tortoise shell just buzzing past me now. <laughs> 